Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your game and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question I'm answering is, what's in this box, or what's in the box? What I have here is the latest game from Exploding Kittens, the board game company now that kind of took the storm using the art and style of the oatmeal. This is their latest game and so far the most serious of the games they've put out. This is a word game. So the folk at Exploding Kittens have put out a word game called A Little Wordy. Not only is it a word game, which is strange for them, it's also not a party game. This is a two-player only card game from Exploding Kittens. I am really curious to see what they've done with this. This looks to be, I personally prefer heavier, harder games. I'm not a big uh, big party game fan, so I am really looking forward to seeing what's in this box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this open, we're gonna throw it down on the table, tilt the camera down, and you'll get to see what you get in the box for a little wordy. All right, so here you have the box for a little wordy. I'm gonna crack this open for the first time. No, I have not seen what's in here yet. So you're getting to see it the same time I am. All right, we start with the rules. It does note, just in case you'd missed it already, it is two player only. We're gonna flip through these pretty quickly. Oh, okay, it's not a book. It looks like a book. It's not a book. It's more like a poster. Where do we start? There we go, we start here. Actually, look at the size of that font. I'm really impressed by that. That is very easy to read. I see lots of examples. Perfect setup of how to lay the table out, as well as showing the game components. Uh, even better, they talk about more of the components down here. They're showing how it works. Um, they also, it looks like, show a different way to set up without the screens. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, that's once you pass back. There's a whole section of what are valid words in this game. Now note, this is not a review of the game, nor a how to play. So I'm just kind of showing off the components here. And there we have, there is a way to play team. So there you go. So not two player only. Despite saying two player game, there is a way to play a team game. That's bonus points for me. Um, this looks pretty solid. Uh, great looking artwork here. Nice. This is nice and thick. It would not tear easily. I'm impressed. Then we have letter tiles. Okay. I was impressed by that. I'm not impressed by this. I got to admit. Knowing it was a word tile game, I was expecting like Scrabble-like tiles or, or plastic tiles like Bananagrams. So it ends up in a little wordy, your tiles are cardboard tiles. Which probably explains the low price point, which is fair, but I was I was hoping for and expecting like tile tiles. I'm going to punch one. Oh, they punch really nice. So here's your thickness of the tile. That's just not a Bakelite tile or a Scrabble tile. I was really hoping for a Bananagrams-like tile. So a little disappointment there. And then we have it, what, um, okay, so the red ones, there are two tiles here, are all consonants. So we have two tiles of consonants. And then our gray ones are vowels. So we only have one thing of vowels. Then we have a bunch of berry tokens. These are for scoring in the game. I totally expected these to be cardboard. I am shocked to see the other ones aren't. So we have berries, we have more berries. We've got some typical oatmeal style artwork. If it's not the oatmeal, it probably is. Then we have an ad for their other games. So we got you a gift. What'd they get me? Don't worry. Oh, I gotta I gotta cover up my code here at the bottom. Don't worry, it's not a dead bird. Receive your VIFs. Go to explodingkittens.com and enter this code, which I'm not gonna show you. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to check that out later. And then it shows some of their more popular games, like a game of cat and mo, taco cat, poetry for Neanderthals, throw throw burrito, and of course exploding kittens. Then we get to a component I was really looking forward to see. Okay, so when you're playing this game, you start off by getting a bunch of tiles and you have to spell a word with it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hide yourself behind the screen. So you actually fold out the wings of the bird and stand this up, and there you go. There's my little screen. And what you're gonna do is you're going to mix up your letters and form a secret word up here, or form a secret word and then write it up here with a dry erase, which I'm assuming are probably gonna be in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to swap tiles with the other player, and then they're going to try to guess what word you spelled with your letters, and you're trying to guess the word you spell they spell with their letters. But this is a nice little piece. Like this is a, little, a step above um, standard, you know, hidden screen. So I guess it's a little low. But you know what? If all I don't have to see is that one word, I can't see a thing. Here, I'll even turn it for the camera. Right? You can't see anything, and this camera is actually way up higher than someone will be. And then once you've got your word, you're actually folded up. 
And then you're guessing on your side, and you're going to use this to try to guess what words you've guessed. And then when they get it right, you can show it to them. So I like the way this folds up. That's nice. So there are two of these, of course, two-player game. Then we got the rest of the components. So we do come with two dry erase markers. What I like to do when doing any of these unboxings for something with dry erase, just do a little quick test. So I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to write hi. There we go. Writes on nice and clear. And we erase it. Oh, look at that. Nice. Really nice. That came off extremely easy. No complaints there. All right, bonus points. Exploding Kittens people for including a baggie to put the stuff away in. I dig it. Then we have cards. Now these cards are in a resealable, yeah, resealable pack. And what these are is clue cards. You're going to put a number of these out. There are standard clue cards and juicy clue cards, they're called. So we have the gray are your standard clue cards. And you're going to take four of these randomly, put them at the bottom of the table, and these are the clues you're going to be able to use. Uh, unfortunately, I grabbed a bird with some green. And, of course, they have they have some pretty creepy um, <laughs> use of the oatmeal-style art here with some rather fat birds. We have the bow and sparrow. We have the cutter pigeon, and so on. And what will happen is when you use this clue, your opponent's going to get three points. Another clue here. And then we have the juicy clues, which can be way better, but do more back-and-forth kind of things. So we have buy a vowel. Let's share the two communist with left share. So yeah, there's a little bit of political commentary here, which I kind of expect from Exploding Kittens. The Crid po Pro Quail, the Perm Deagle, and so on. I gotta admit, like, I, I don't know. I, in this game, I don't mind this style of artwork at all. My camera doesn't like yellows today. Die Bombing Birds. Aerial Bombardment. YOLO Doggo. Dodo, sorry, Yo-Yo Dodo, and the Loch Nest Monster. So, yeah, lots of puns here. Card quality is decent. Um, they could use a bit of thicker coating on them, but these don't feel like they're going to fall apart anytime soon. And that is the back of the spicy cards, and it probably should have showed off the back of the standard cards. Vanilla, sorry, vanilla cards and spicy cards. Then lastly, we have bags. And all these are for is you put the consonants in this bag. You put the vowels in this bag. And at the start of the game, I don't remember the exact numbers. You draw so many vowels, so many consonants to make your starting word. I'm overall pretty impressed here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack things up and then I'll share my final thoughts. And I am not going to bother trying to put the cards back into this. There you have it. What you get in the box for a little wordy. This is the latest game from the Exploding Kittens group. Uh, it is a Target exclusive, at least at this point. I'm not sure how long that'll last. But at the time of making this video, it was a Target exclusive. Um, I unfortunately did not look up the MSRP, but I, their games are usually in the $15 to $20 range, and I have to assume this one is the same. Um, impressed by everything but one thing in this. I, I'm spoiled. I think that's the problem. Is I am completely spoiled because I expect a word-based tile game to come with thick plastic or Bakelite or wooden tiles. I expected Scrabble tiles or tiles like in Bananagrams. I was totally taken aback by the fact that the word tiles in this game are just cardboard chits. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Now, I get it. That's part of why the price point's so low on this game. Um, so I understand, but I'm a little surprised. Other than that, though, the quality of this is excellent. But I, I just expected it. Like I said, I'm spoiled. I, I expect word games. I expect, like, tiles, actual tiles, not just cardboard shits. Other than that, though, I love the player screens. Those are some of the best designed player screens I've seen in a game. Rules seem extremely clear. The cards are beautiful looking with, well, beautiful, <laughs> depending on how you want to uh, look at that artwork, but very well drawn artwork, we'll at least say, uh, with a ton of puns on them. I am really looking forward to playing this. My wife is actually the one who's a big word game fan, but because this is a clue-based game, it shouldn't be based on who has the biggest vocabulary. It's not who makes the biggest word, it's who makes the hardest to guess word, and I love that. That should mean that I might actually have a chance of beating my wife at this game at least once. So that's it for our unboxing of A Little Wordy from Exploding Kittens. 
I am Mo Tuzan of the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Head over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, for more gaming content. And if you dig this video and would like to see more like it, and you can check out our, our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, and you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. That's a bit of enough self-promotion for the night. Everyone have a good night, good game, good night.